Ground ball through the right side, past the diving rows for a base hit. Zeffieri will hold at second. The 0-2. Breaking ball, got him looking. The 2-0. Popped up over on the right side. Coming in is Lenahan. He has some trouble and he makes the play. Brendan Luther leading off the bottom of the ninth for the Okotoks Dogs against the Logan Knight. Okotoks trailing 3 0. They enter this game with a two game lead for first place in the West Division. Sylvan Lake, two games back, they have a 6 0 lead on Brooks. And Luther skies this ball out to left field. Buckley is there for the first out. One pitch, one down in the ninth. And the batter will be Elijah Hamill. Three ground outs for Hamill. He grounded out to first, third, and second in the first, third, and sixth. With Croson on deck. Hoping to get Nash Kroll to the plate. That pitch gets away, 1-0. Hamill this year with Utah, one home run, 13 RBI. He had a 208 batting average. A couple of years ago, ranked as one of the top prospects in the country, number four overall by perfect game. That has been excellent for the Dogs this season. The 1 0 ripped down the first base line. That is a fair ball into the right field corner. Hamill stumbles around first, heading into second. He will get there without a throw. It is a one-out double for Elijah Hamill and some life for the dogs. Now bring Connor Crost into the play. Third time today the dogs have had a runner in scoring position. Obviously, the first two were not cashed. Croson swinging and a miss at that one. And still in the ninth, fourth trip through the batting order. Knight still getting swings like that. It has been a dominant performance from him. His longest of the season. Ahead in the count here on Croson, 0-1. Fouls that one away, 0-2. Croson has one of the four hits in the ball game with a single in the first. He's also flown out to right and grounded out to third. Foul tip caught. Two down. Seventh strikeout of the ball game for Knight. And now it's Nash Kroll, the last chance for the dogs tonight. He had a single in the seventh, putting him at one for three in the ball game. Tied for the league lead in home runs, entering play tonight with 10 on the year, 37 runs batted in. Takes that pitch for a strike, it's 0-1. Not a lot of comfortable swings from the dogs tonight. Look like there's a lot of moving parts to these pitches here from Knight. One of the flyouts for Kroll did get to the wall. Fouls that one away, and the dogs a strike away from dropping this one. Crowd getting into it as night has been a silencer for the dogs to see or for the dogs fans this evening. The 0-2. High and tight one and two. Kroll looking to extend the game with Lenahan on deck. Hamill takes his lead at second. Knight ready with the 1-2. Two. 
Swing and a strike three. A complete game shutout for Logan Knight of the top team in the West Division. And the Giants shut down the Dogs tonight. Three, nothing the final. A run in the fifth, two in the sixth was enough for Fort McMurray to close this one out. That strikeout the eighth of the ball game for Knight who was sensational this evening. The Giants with three runs on nine hits, no errors. The Dogs shut out with four hits. And it would appear that that lead atop the West Division is gonna be down to just a game with the Gulls leading the Bombers seven nothing. These two teams do it all again tomorrow night here at Siemens Stadium. It'll be five o'clock somewhere Saturday. Dogs and Fort McMurray, a seven o'clock start that you can also catch right here on Home Team Live. Once again, my name is Peter Klein. Thank you all so much for making us a part of your Friday night and we will talk to you later here on Home Team Live.